Well, we've reached the end. The final episode of The Spoils of Babylon. It took me three years to complete filming on Spoils. It was an emotionally draining experience. By this time in production, my wife, Loria Samcake, who plays Cynthia, was no longer my wife. Dirk Snowfield, who played Devon, had converted to Buddhism. And Marty Comanche was nearly unreachable without medication. But here it is. The great opera of two lives lived in fear of their desire comes to a close. One more interesting tidbit. It's not often that I don the clothes of the thespian and parade upon the board, so to speak. The bard usually doth not goeth upon his own stage, if you will. But the cast and crew insisted. Tonight you will see me in the role of the Shah of Iran. It's but a trifle, but is it not the trifles that give one's life's greatest pleasures? I hope it adds to your pleasure. Without any more ado, enjoy the grand finale of the Spoils of Babylon. Previously on the Spoils of Babylon. My name is Devin Morehouse. My story is an epic one. Look, Father, there's someone walking. From now on, your last name is Morehouse. It's been so long since you kissed me. Don't you wanna? Devin, we struck off! I want to introduce you to Lady Anne York. What are you doing with that fire? <laughs> I saved the child. I kicked heroin. I can't kick you. I'm dying, Devin. I'm a... I want you to guide this company going forward. She's gonna shut us down. I hate Devin Morehouse. He, he is he your, is father. your father. You tell your Shah that he shall have his nuclear bomb. This is my life, or what remains of it. Dearest Devin, Despite all our best efforts, it looks like our company is going under. I've lied to the board and told them Winston made a deal with the Arabs, but he is not. We will not survive the gas crunch without a supply of oil. Morehouse Oil, our company. The company our father built. I miss you. Die. I know the conditions we set. I know we are never to see each other in this lifetime again, but I miss you and I need you. For eight years we've kept this charade. You running research and development and me running the business. When will it end? I must see you. At the very least, think of our company. Love forever. Cynthia. sadness in you that never goes away. Uh, no, not, not with you around. You bring joy to me. I don't know what I would do without you. You are my light. Should that light extinguish, I too should fade. I love you, Dad. I love you too. Why don't you cool it with the mother routine while I shake up an eye opener? I've been expecting you for days. Aw, oh, boo-hoo. You want to know so badly, I was saving Morehouse conglomerate. How? Pleasure boating with the Shah of Iran and some centerfolds flown over by Flues magazine. Reza, the Shah, he's got no pull at OPEC. He has no power. He will soon. He'll soon have all the power he needs. I asked you to make a deal with the Arabs. And instead, instead you're pleasure boating around the Mediterranean with the wrong man and some floozies from Snooze Magazine? So dramatic, Mother. My little boat ride will save this company. Mm. And it was some snoozies from Flues Magazine, Mother. What did you do? Now, now, it's all a big surprise, isn't it? 
Oh, by the by, have we invited the Shah to our annual event yet? Yes, of course. I just sent his invitation via telegram. He's not going to show up. He never has before. Oh, he'll show all right. Mark my words. He'll be here. Winston, try to understand. I couldn't tell you that your uncle was your father. It means nothing to me now. It was wrong, and I know that now. You listen to me. When I am done rescuing this company, which you and my father, I mean, my father almost ruined, I'm kicking you out on your bony ass. You're done here. And as for my father, I have much bigger plans. Much, 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 much bigger plans. <laughs> Cynthia Morehouse and I had an agreement. I would work for the company and she would not interfere with my work. After her last letter, I began to muse if she could hold to the bargain. I began to muse if I could hold to the bargain. And then, one day, a lone figure appeared. Well, hello there, stranger. Am I such a stranger? Perhaps not in my heart. My heart is home to you as well. That scent. Parisian Noir. You remembered. One doesn't forget desire. Parisian desire. Come, I have a blanket and some little snacks. In a jug of day sweet brand wine over there. Come. Are you going to tell me why you traveled all this way? Or would you like a little burgundy red wine to work up your courage? Burgundy red wine? I'd love some. Oh. Devin, I'm scared. What is it? It's Winston. I believe he wants to hurt you in some way. Uh, more? Yes, please. Now, tell me about the boy, Winston. It's complicated. He's gone mad. I'm really afraid. Do you remember that night? In San Francisco? Like it was yesterday. He's yours. You're his. He's ours. I'm just afraid he's gonna hurt you, that's all. Oh, I'm so touched. I didn't know you cared so deeply. Devin, I've never stopped loving you. Is it too late? Cynthia.
It's a hard thing putting you in the ground, Marianne. It is I who should be asleep under all this black ground, not you. For it was I that set in motion the curse on nature that damned us all. To deny the very thing that breathes life into our, into our hearts is to deny all mankind the possibility of love. My own cowardice in the face of true love has brought you to this ignoble conclusion. I cannot bear it! How can your heart be still while the earth continues its rotation? What cruel force spins us round on this day when all should stop to join in your stillness? Cannot the earth forestall its diurnal course, but for a while so that we can all share your eternal sleep? Oh, that I could make it so! Like Prometheus, I would be chained for eternity to the coldest rock while eagles tear at my flesh in exchange for just one more breath of air from your sweet, innocent lips. <sighs> oh, shoot, Marion, I don't know what to say. I've never been much for words. It just don't seem fair, you down there and me up here. It just ain't fair. Oh. I thought I would find you here. Cynthia. Oh. Oh, you tried to warn me. You did? It was Winston, wasn't it? Please, Devin, he is but a boy. A boy. A boy, a man, a, a child, an infant, a fetus, a girl, an eagle, a vegetable. What does it matter? There's a clear difference between right and wrong. Am I right, Cynthia? Oh, it seems we don't have anything to say to each other. What about the beach? Did that mean nothing to you? It meant everything. I love you, Cynthia. I will always love you. But this will not stand. No. This will not stand! Devin! Please! Come back! Devin! 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 for the arts. So happy you could be here tonight, enjoy all of the, the ham, and um, has anyone seen Winston? Gentlemen, I wish to thank you for crossing an ocean and coming to the American continent to meet with me face to face in this very room. My dear boy, I hope you had brought the appropriate documents. It is my humble pleasure to serve His Majesty, the Shah of Iran. Please, we can drop the formalities. I've been a friend of the family for years. Call me Reza. Of course, Reza. I have the documents right here. All of the documents? Everything you will need to construct your own nuclear bomb. Can my scientists look them over? I trust you'll find everything in order. When it is determined that we do indeed have nuclear capabilities, I will hand over the code to a bank account in Geneva. Congratulations. For what? Mother, please, this, this doesn't concern you. You seem to be doing a deal with one of my old friends, Reza. How does this not concern me? These uh, documents are perfect. Documents? What documents? Mother, leave us! Winston. 
Devin is coming tonight. Wonderful. Show your brother a great time. It's a party, isn't it? He's coming to kill you. He thinks you had something to do with Marianne's death. Perhaps I did. That little tart should stay out of back alleys. Now, please, Mother, the shot and I have business. This is true. Not so fast, hot shot. Your business is with me. <gasps> Hello, Reza. Mr. Devon Morehouse. I have not seen you since Monte Carlo. Well, those were luxurious days and thrilling nights. We had great fun. I shall always remember Monte Carlo. As shall I, Your Eminence. Devin. No, you can't. The boy must die. The boy is your son. What? How? I meant to tell you. It was that night in San Francisco. Oh. The night we made love. You made love to your own sister! But why, why wouldn't you tell me? We would have lost everything. It was in Father's will. My own son killed my own daughter. <laughs> what great tragedy is this? No, no, stop, please. Let this go. Leave him. You and I can run away together and, and never look back. But he killed Marianne. Julie! Daddy! since the first time I saw you. I, I, I killed Lady Anne. I, I burned her to the ground. I burned her face. Shh, shh, shh. You saved her strength. I also killed Seymour Luntz, the man with the carburetor that you and Father thought would change the world. Oh, speak not of carburetors and fires. And Dixie Mellonworth. I had Winston kill her too. Love. Has no morals. You did what you thought was best. Keep, keep talking. I want to hear your voice. I want your voice to be the last thing I hear before. Uh, uh, uh. Cynthia. No. Why? Why do men always have to deny the love that was meant for them? I have loved you and lusted after you my whole life, and yet. Something deep within me has pulled me away from you. Tell your story. Get it on magnetic audio tape so the world will know. And there you have it. The whole story. Tomorrow's papers will read double murder at Morehouse Mansion. But it wasn't murder. It was suicide. Two souls. Dead at the altar of denial. Story. I 
don't want my arms around you, no, not much. I don't bless the day I found you, no, not much. I don't need you like the stars don't need the sky. I won't love you longer than the day I die. You don't please me when you squeeze me, no, not much. My head is spinning from your cool and crazy touch. When the wine runs out, it's time to go. That's the rule. That's the rule as old as ales. Is there any more wine? I need help out of the booth. Doris, is Doris? Doris, come here. I just want to say one thing to you. I'd like to have you for my collection, my menagerie, if you will. <laughs> Doris. Oh, God. Finger foods, they always do you in. Doris, I won't stop searching till I find you, Doris. You can't escape the bear hugs of Eric John Rush. Where's my siren, Doris? Oh. Oh, God, I'm definitely going to be sick.